making a move because of a growing family. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Realty Group, and I wanted to chat with you today and introduce you to Annie right here. Annie, well, she's helped me put a lid on the conversation of a third child, at, at least for now. And sometimes your family's grown because of a furry friend over here or, or kids. So what should you think about if you're thinking about making a move because your family is growing? Well, the first thing is determine your budget. First, you need to figure out what you want to afford. And I do mean want, because there are quite frankly few things worse than being house poor. Remember that that payment will need to cover your insurance, your taxes, your you know monthly mortgage payment if you're planning on getting a mortgage, and also if you're getting a condo fee, you need to incorporate those condo fees into that monthly payment. You also need to think about, do you currently own a home? If so, what are your net proceeds gonna be? Do you need to sell in order, in order to buy? Once you've figured out you know, your, your comfort level, it, it, at that point, now time to call a mortgage banker. A mortgage banker, they're gonna review your finances and, and they're gonna look at all the different programs out there and they're ultimately gonna figure out, hey, which program ultimately increases and maximizes your affordability. A couple urban ifs, myths of uh, home buying. The first one, and I hear it all the time, is I need 20% down. This is as false as it can painfully be. You need as little as three and a half percent down for most FHA programs. And if you happen to be a veteran, you there are actually programs out there as a huge thank you where you can put zero percent down. I've also heard the urge, urban myth of I need a FICO score of 750. Again, this is false. FHA offers programs for three and a half percent down with FICO scores of 580. And if your FICO score is below 580, they may even have a program for you. It's just that you might need to put 10 percent down. So those are some things in, in determining your budget to ultimately think about. Step two, determine your, your needs. Why are you moving? Is it because you need more room? Uh, maybe it's because you need to be closer to family or you wanna be closer to work. By the way, speaking of work, what is that acceptable commute for you? You know, how much space do you need? Are, are you thinking like square footage? How many beds? How many baths? Do you have any special needs? Like, do you need a separate office space in order to work because you work from home? Maybe you need a big backyard for Annie, wherever she's walking around, right? So, you know, or maybe, heck, you want a small backyard because there's less maintenance to do and you want to enjoy your weekends rather than cutting the lawn. So another thing to think about is, is school district important to you? Ultimately also, what condition does the house need to be in? Are you willing to buy a house that might need some improvements over time or do you need something that's been completely redone and it's just your dream house move in tomorrow and not worry about a single thing? Step three, you need to look at some preferred areas. So you wanna be as general as you can be when it comes to location. You know, kind of at this stage, you really wanna keep that open mind. Ultimately, keeping an open mind helps you a lot in this stage. You wanna think as an open mind, think like North Shore, South Shore, Metro West, right? You know, there is no wrong answer when you start talking about preferred areas and locations. So you have your general needs, you know those general needs, right? You have a budget, you have a general idea of where you wanna live, so now you need to start meshing all this together. So for example, you wanna go into this general area and start looking at some towns. Go look up that price range. See if those houses match up to the, you know, what you're looking for in the house ultimately. And if it's not, go to a different town and, and see if you can find you know, a town that blends your needs with your price range. And ultimately, if you can't find that town, you need to go back and you need to revisit that list. And are there a couple things that you can shave off of? You also need to be realistic, quite frankly. If you're looking for a half acre in the back bay, most likely you're not gonna be able to accomplish your task. You need to think about it like that. You also need to think about, well, maybe if uh, you were looking in Milton and you can't ultimately quite get what you're looking for, maybe look at another com comparable town like Canton. Okay, so there, when it comes to locations, this is ultimately where we can really step in and help you and offer you a lot of suggestions and, and maybe give you an idea of other places to go. So, you know, also don't forget to think about that next step. And what I mean by that is what's gonna come out next? You know, we're, we're talking about our family growing, maybe the first kids coming along, are we planning on having two? Are we planning on having three? The reason why I say it's so important to think about that next step is because you need to think in a five to seven year time frame. You do not want to buy a house, live there for two years and have to move again. Moving's not cheap. There's quite frankly, few things that are <laughs> less enjoyable um, 
that, than moving and having to pack all the boxes and getting the movers here. So, but, but ultimately, the longer that you can stay in the house, historically speaking, the more equity you gain and it will help you carry over to the next house. So definitely don't just think about what your needs are today. Think about your needs, what they might be tomorrow or a year or two, well, I should say five or seven years down the road. <sighs> Again, my name is Jeff Chubb. I'm with the Chubb Realty Group. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to buying or selling a house. I'm here. I want to chat with you. If you have any questions, you know, on a public forum and you want some answers, let me know. I'd, I'd love to do more of these videos. And quite frankly, I need ideas. But ultimately, if you're looking for that private conversation to sit down and chat about your house, things that you can do at your house or your real estate goals and maybe how you can accomplish those real estate goals or, hey, what's going on in the marketplace and how much my house is worth? Well, I'd love to chat with you about that, too. The best number to get me at is 617-480-2600, or you can get me by email at jeff at boston2.com. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to chatting with you soon.